सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू बिट फ्यूम्स एंड दिस इज एंगुलर प्लस लेवल ऑथेंटिकेशन सीरीज एंड इन दिस एपिसोड वी आर गोइंग टू स्विच द कॉम्पोनेंट वेन द यूजर इज लॉक्ड इन सो लेट्स जस्ट सी वॉट एग्जैक्टली वी वॉन्ट टू डू लेट्स ओपन कॉन्सोल गो टू लॉग इन पार्ट एंड बिफोर दैट लेट मी क्लियर दिस लोकल स्टोरेज सो दैट टेक्निकली वी आर नॉट लॉक्ड इन सो लॉग इन एंड गिव बिट फ्यूम्स वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स hit sign in everything is done yes we are getting this true on the application we are having this token but still we are on the login page we have to move our user from login page to profile page obviously when the user is logged in so firstly let's go to front end that means on the angular on the source app component login लॉगिन डॉट कॉम्पोनेंट डॉट टी एस वी हैव दिस हैंडल रिस्पॉन्स फंक्शन और मेथड वॉट एवर यू कॉल सो हेयर वट आई एम गोइंग टू डू आई एम गोइंग टू फर्स्टली गेट अ न्यू सर्विस विच इज कॉल्ड प्राइवेट राउट और वी कैन से इट राउटर सो दिस विल बी अ सिंपल राउटर एंड इम्पोर्ट इट एट द टॉप या हेयर एंड नाउ वी विल यूज दिस सर्विस एंड आई विल सिंपली यूज राउटर this dot router dot navigate by url and url will be profile so this exactly saying that whenever we get the token whenever everything is good we get the token let's store the token that means on the handle part we are storing the token here and then we have to make sure that navigation by url and that means the user is redirected to profile and let's just remove this is valid part from here and let's now recompile everything and it is compiled and let's now go to chrome refresh once more clear out everything we have so once more refresh go to login and bit films 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 6 sign in and you can see we are logged in and now we are on the profile page our profile component whatever you call so this is exactly we want to create same thing we have to do with sign up part so if i now go to sign up if we create a new user we have to again uh, redirect so let's now go actually our sign up is also incomplete because if i go to sign up we are not handling anything so again let's use a handle method so we will say handle response handle response this dot handle response and pass the data and now same thing we have to do with our sign up form and here we are saying okay when you get the data then store the token navigate to profile so let's get these two little services so private token is a that has to be token service and which is imported and next is private uh, we need that router also so router is router and let's save this file go to chrome and here let's try to register so this will be bit fumes 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 1 2 3 4 5 6 sign up and yes you you can see we have redirected to profile page from our uh, sign up also and we have this token here okay this is good but you can see we are logged in but there is no information on angular that we are logged in apart from that token dot service which is saying that logged in is true but for having a centralized system where we have the data which will be available to every component and then we can even change that data so that every component realize that okay hey yeah log in is changed now it is false or now it is true so somewhat that thing so let's create another service a new service for the front end let's open for the front end and ng generate a service and this service i call auth service and remember this has to be inside services folder and give the module name 
which is app so this is also going to create and we will create some of these things and as always here we have the auth service and inside this we will define a data which is private data like logged in and this has to be new behavior behavior subject and we have to include this and this should be like boolean and we have to include this so there is no suggestion about this so not a problem let's import it manually so import this from rxjs so rxjs slash behavior subject close this line and even if this is not found yes we have this but i don't know why it's not giving so maybe maybe it's it will work when we compile so this is good and here we have to pass this dot token dot logged in and i think you got the idea because now we have to make a private token and that will be token service and auto import it yes it is done and i think that error is gone from here so this is good let's close this line and now we will say uh, auth status is equal to uh, this dot logged in dot as observable so observable okay what this will do this will make sure that whenever this variable the logged in changes it changes the auth status so next is we have to create a change uh, status or change auth status function and this will just accept value as boolean because this is just has to be a uh, uh, true or false so this dot logged in dot next is whatever the value we have passed here so this value if we pass that will come here so if i pass true that means yes user is logged in then it will change the status of login then that will observable this means that will go to auth status and after doing this let's see on our service yeah absolutely fine go to chrome again we are getting no error that means everything is working fine and now when the user is logged in yes we are doing these things but we have to change our status of auth so let's grab that auth service so private auth is auth service and import it and here i will say auth dot uh, change status and change status will be like true okay so this will be like this and now on the nav bar what we will do is on this uh, ng on init part firstly we will create a private function or let's not private let's say public uh, data which is called logged in this is not related to the auth service logged in and this is a boolean and we have defined this but we have to give this value and this value will come from our auth service so let's grab that auth service here so private auth auth service import automatically and yes now i will say logged in uh, value will be equal to auth dot uh, let's import that yeah La auth dot not change status i want auth status so this will give the value and if you are thinking that this is correct no <laughs> this is not the correct way actually we have used that observable thing so we have to say auth status dot uh, subscribe we have to subscribe subscribe here we have to give the callback so value will be logged in is equal to whatever will be the value so we are doing these things and now 
if we have the value of logged in as a true then let's go to navbar.html and here we will create a new copy call it logout so asterisk ng if logged in asterisk ng if not logged in and inside this quotes yeah okay so let's go and we have some kind of error which says uh, rx behavior is not found and we are getting this error because of my mistake of behavior spelling so now you can see we don't have to use o here so behavior and now error is gone so this means it will work properly so refresh no error i think no we are getting some kind of error let's see the problem on our app dot module dot ts yes we have imported that but uh, okay i think you can see the result the folder name starts from small s but i don't know why this uh, CLI makes this with a capital S services okay and let's see yes again here on the token capital S on this yeah on the nav bar do we have that yeah with a small s that's okay so let's see the result refresh and again we have so this time we have problem on our app dot module token service and this is working fine i think we have to make sure we will close everything and let's try one by one so here from a small s that's okay on this nav bar have any import for that now on this sign up we have yeah sign up has with capital s so let's refresh and yeah you can see with a, just a small and capital s problem angular is uh, creating some kind of weird behavior and we have to make sure that everything is absolutely fine so if you get this kind of error you have to solve like this okay so everything is done and we have changed so we are working on that nav bar part so if we have the logged in as true we are showing login if we have the logged in as false we are showing log out if we are logged in we have to show log out button and this has to be switched now you can see we are having this log out button so in that way we can change these uh, uh, functions and if we log out that means if we remove this token refresh this and yeah we are logged in and let's try to log in once more one two three four five six and log in and change to log out so this is the thing we have created and if you have liked this episode please go and share this video with your developer friends so that everyone get the knowledge of best thing called laravel don't forget to subscribe like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye